Hello, and welcome to iRespond training. In this training video, we will show you how to use your previously created PowerPoint presentations in an iRespond session. To begin, first open iRespond and enter your username and password. Once logged in to iRespond, on the top left, session type, select Power Presenter. And notice the test banks window has gone. This is because you will be using your PowerPoint presentation as the test bank. Select the class list that will be taking this test. In this case, I will be using the demo pin class and also select your remote device list. On the bottom left, click Start. On the Finding Base Unit dialog, there are now two fields that need to be completed. The first one, the base unit. Power on your base unit. And notice it has found one iRespond light base and also PowerPoint Server. Open PowerPoint and open your PowerPoint presentation which contains your test questions. Once your PowerPoint presentation is open, iRespond Base Unit has found the Power Presenter and the Next button is available. Click Next. On iRespond, you are now able to have your students log in to their remotes by powering on the remote, typing in their PIN number, and pressing send. In this session, we will also incorporate the use of a teacher's remote. To use a teacher's remote, power on the remote Type in your teacher's remote PIN that you set when you created a iRespond account. Notice on the screen you see teacher remote online and on your remote the word teacher is at the top. So at this point your students have logged in and your remote for your teacher's remote is logged in. Here, we are ready to begin the test. You are able to minimize iRespond, and it will keep track of the answers and the questions, as well as the graded responses, in the background, while your PowerPoint presentation is presenting the test. Begin the slideshow. Here, you have begun the slideshow, and this is your first slide on the PowerPoint presentation, which you created. At this point, I will show you how to use your teacher's remote to advance the slide. Using your teacher's remote, simply press the send button once, and you will notice the next slide appears with your question embedded in the PowerPoint presentation. And you will see on your students' remotes that they are now on question one of one. Have your students begin answering the question. As your students answer the question, you will see the percent complete. And once 100% of your students have answered, you will see the graph of the students' answers. In this case, we see that A is the correct answer, and it was answered by two students. This will show in the middle of your PowerPoint presentation to all of your students. This does not show individual answers or names. Using your teacher's remote, press the send button again and you will get to your next slide. You are able to place any teaching content in the middle of your question slides and iRespond will only grade the slides that have questions embedded on them. 
Insert pictures, videos, notes, or anything else that you are able to place in a PowerPoint slideshow. Pressing Next on your teacher's remote goes to the next question. And as your students begin answering the question, again we see the percentage complete, as well as the graph showing the number of students that answered each question. Press the Send button to advance to the next slide. And we see that the slideshow has ended, allowing us to go back to iRespond, where we see the answers have been logged, the students' scores have been calculated, and each individual student still has their answers collected, just as it would in an instructor-paced session. If you are ready to end the test, just as in an instructor-paced session, click File and Exit or we are prompted by, do you really want to exit? Yes, we do. Do you want to save this session to a log? Yes, we do. This is a new question for iRespond Power Presenter mode. Do you want to save this session as a test bank? What this will do is save the questions and the answers from the previous PowerPoint presentation as a test bank on your iRespond dashboard. In this case, I will click No. Do you want to start another session keeping the current users online? No. Your remotes and base unit will begin powering off. And we were prompted by, do you want to start a new session? Yes. Here we are able to save the session log. Where we get back to the iRespond session setup. This is the end of this training video. To learn more about iRespond and how to use it, please see our subsequent videos. Thank you.